Hey guys, today I'm just going to be doing a uh, quick video on how to replace your uh, gears in a 2065 micro servo from Traxxas. So you need one kit to replace the gears in here, and that is 2064, comes with all the necessary parts. Here is an unopened package, so it comes with all the gears and extra gear back there. <laughs> it just kind of floated around in there. Um, uh, you'll also be needing some Traxxas thrust bearing grease, um, and, and that's really it. Tools you'll need, you'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver. If you don't know what a Phillips head screwdriver is, that's the one with the plus at the end, basically. And that's all the tools you'll need besides a tool to take the servo out of your car. So, to open the servo, You'll see I've already taken out these four screws here at the bottom. You're going to want to take out all these screws. Once you've unscrewed all those, you'll be able to pop this top part off. Be careful because since it's a waterproof servo, it's got a little black um, washer in there, black gasket in there, and that's to help it to be waterproof. So you'll see in here, some broken gear laying around. I severely broke the gears in this servo. So go ahead and take out your gears just like that and you'll notice on this top gear there's a little black bearing on there. Go ahead, or not bearing, uh, there's a little piece in there. Go ahead and take that off. Set that aside because you'll need that for the new gears. Go ahead and take out this black gasket and set it aside. It just gets, uh, gets in the way and go ahead and remove all the other gears in the servo and if you uh, broke the gears in this and that's why you're replacing them make sure to get all the little bits of broken gear uh, out of there otherwise it can uh, break more gears if there's you know broken pieces of gear and they get lodged in the other gears break those so then what you're going to want to do is get your smallest gear, this one right here, and put put it face down right next to the uh, little uh, the bronze gear right next to the servo right there. And then the next gear you're going to want to get, I believe, is this one right here. And actually, whoops, I messed up. Don't put that small gear in first. Put this like smallish gear in there. Should fit in there just like that. Nice and snug right there. And then put the little tiny, tiny gear on its little. There's like a little post for it in there. You'll find it. It's blue. So those go in there like that. And then uh, once you're done with that, go ahead and get the. Uh, gear that has the two little pieces coming off of it and uh, put it down just like that and put the one of those sides has gears on it one doesn't on this gear put the one that does not have gears on it face down so this piece up here should have little gears on it right up there now get this little gear put it right on the center post right there and then get your big gear and you'll notice it has like a little notch in it put the taller side of the notch facing the gear the, the little center gear that we just put in and then push that down in there might be kind of hard to put on there for whatever uh, reason this gear usually is so slide that down on there just like that and then get your little circular black washer put it right back on top of there just like it was on the other gear on the other output gear now get your thrust bearing grease, go ahead and take the cap off of it, 
and just squeeze a little bit of it onto some of these gears. And that'll just kind of help to lubricate it. Sorry, kind of got out of frame there. But anyway, just put some of that grease in there. That'll help it. Alright, now get your uh, black gasket. Put it right back on there. And make sure it's kind of around the grooves on the outside. And sometimes, well, most of the time, this can be kind of difficult just to fit perfect back on there. But do take your time with this and make sure it's on there well because this, uh, this is what makes the servo waterproof. If you didn't have this in there, the servo would be 0% waterproof. Alright, now that you've got that done, go ahead and just put the top back on, carefully, just like that, and go ahead and get your screwdriver, and screw all those little screws back in there, and if you do take these uh, little screws all the way out, do uh, be warned that there are tiny little gaskets on uh, these as well. There's a tiny little circular gasket that go around the screw um, on each screw. So you want to make sure that you don't lose those. And then just make sure your screws are tight. If they're not tight you'll lose the waterproofing ability of the servo. That would not be good. And then after that before you uh, put your servo saver back on the top of this, uh, what you want to do is just plug it in and turn on your car and turn on your transmitter and move the servo around a little bit uh, just to get it back to its normal position. And uh, leave the car on so that it stays centered and then put your servo saver on the correct way that you need it to be centered. Uh, so center the servo saver and go ahead and uh, easily screw it in there. Um, I say easily because if you screw it on there uh, too harshly or too tightly, then you'll break the gears inside. Um, so just uh, be careful when you're screwing the servo saver back on there that you don't do it too hardly or tightly or whatever um, to break the gears again. Because that would suck if you literally just replace the gears and then you break them again. I've done that a couple of times. It's not fun. So uh, just be careful when you're doing that. And then once you do have the servo, uh, the servo horn, servo saver, whatever, on there. Um, then uh, just move it around a little bit um, just to get that grease moved around. And that's it. That's all you got to do. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, comment down below if you have a video suggestion for me. All right, talk to you later, guys.